Family Theater presents Donald O'Connor and Deborah Padgett. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents The Thinking Machine, starring Donald O'Connor. To introduce the drama, here is your hostess, Deborah Padgett. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. And now to our comedy, The Thinking Machine, starring Donald O'Connor as Hector. <laughs> Hector, would you mind checking this account for me? The gentleman's here asking about a loan. I'd like to know a little about his background. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Chambers. I'll have it for you in a jiffy. Thank you. Hello, Mildred. Got enough to keep you busy? Oh, my, yes, Mr. Chambers. Golly, I didn't know there could be so much to do in a bank. Oh, you certainly know how to run that adding machine. Thank you. I go as fast as I can without making mistakes. That's a good girl. You just keep at it and you'll go far with this organization. I've always got an eye out for industrious workers, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Oh. Well, well, here you are, sir. The guy looks okay to me. Thank you, Hector. Uh, you can go to work now, Hector. Oh, I'm all caught up, caught up, sir. Caught up at two in the afternoon? Are you sure? Oh, yes, sir. Everything's ship in my department. Well, let's see here. Hmm. Well, you do seem to be. You sure your figures are correct? Oh, yes, sir. Imzak never makes a mistake. Who? Imzak. And who, pray, is Imzak? Well, that's my thinking machine. He does all my work for me now. Oh, oh, that's right. You are an amateur inventor, aren't you? Yes, sir. And uh, you say you've come up with a thinking machine? You mean an electric calculator? Yeah, that's right. He's terrific, too. He did all my work in half an hour last night. You took your work home with you? Uh, 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 well, uh, yes, sir. I, I know it's against the rules, but... Well, well, it's so easy when Imzak does it, and it's so hard when I do it. Hmm. Well, let's just have another look at these figures. Oh, the examiner, uh, examiner's already uh, been here, and he's checked them, sir. They're, they're okay. And this machine did it in half an hour, you say? Yeah, it was a snap for him. But this is unbelievable. Mildred there, our fastest worker, has been at it all day, and she's not nearly finished yet. Well, the heck with Mildred. Let her invent her own machine. <laughs> but, Hector, this is amazing. To think that you've actually made a calculating machine, it's astounding. I'll say. I thought I was making a television set. <laughs> hmm... Hector, I'd like to see this invention of yours sometime. Uh, where do you keep it? Well, it's home in the basement. I make all kinds of things down there. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with some of your inventions. Well, do I remember that incinerator wastebasket you brought in the bank that day? Well, you've got to admit it was a good idea. Putting that cigarette lighter in the bottom to burn the trash as it came in. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm still trying to explain to the board of directors why the entire personnel had to wear gas masks for the balance of the day. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I forgot about the smoke. But I've got that lick now. All we have to do Let's is... Let's just forget the wastebasket, Hector. As a matter of fact, in reflecting upon your past successes in the field of science, let's just forget about your adding machine, too. Okay. But I'll give him Zach your regards, though. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, do that. In the meantime, give Mildred a hand there, will you? Oh, glad to. But it seems silly to do all that figuring by hand when Imzak could zip through it in a few minutes. Well, for the time being, we'll just have to struggle along with the primitive methods we have. I'll give Imzak your regards. Hoy! <laughs> and Mr. Chambers sends his regards, Imzak. Well, he's sort of an old blue nose, but I suppose he's okay. Hector! Hector, are you down there? Oh, hiya, Helen. Come on down. Hello, dear. Your dinner's in the oven whenever you're ready. Uh, you mean you're going out again? Oh, you forget this is Wednesday. It's my bridge night. Well, I thought last night was your bridge night. Oh, that was the Tuesday bridge club. Gosh, you sure belong to a mess of them. Oh, not so many, dear. Fifteen? <laughs> well. Well, and they all meet twice a week. Well, I'll drop out of some if you want me to. Oh, no, 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 no. If, if, not if you really enjoy it. You know, maybe I am being selfish about it. I don't get to spend much time with you anymore. Well, no, look, if, if you really enjoy it, honey, you go ahead. <laughs> I, I've always got my inventions to keep me busy. Ah, oh, and how is my Edison coming along these days? 
Well, what's this big thing? <laughs> Your latest contribution to humanity? Yeah, isn't it a dilly? <laughs> yes, it's very interesting, dear. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, n not exactly. <laughs> Too bad you weren't a doctor, Hector. You'd be just the one to discover a cure for which there is no disease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but you must have some idea. Didn't you work for many plans? Well, that's just it. I sent away for a whole bunch of plans, and they all came at once. Yeah. And, well, I, I, I got them all mixed up. Well, um, what did you think you were building? Well, I was going to make us a television set, but I think I got the plans mixed in with the ones for an electric calculator and a radio. Oh, goodness, you are in a pickle. Yeah, and now I can't find the waffle iron either. <laughs> oh, Hector, you're the limit. Yeah, but Imzak works all right. <laughs> oh, Imzak, is that its name? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Oh, I don't know. It, it sounds sort of mysterious, though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, just what sort of work does your Imzak do? Oh, he does a lot of things. He's a wizard figures. Here, I'll show you. All right. Uh, Imzak, what's two and two? See? Four. <laughs> He's not exactly a super mentality, is he? Well, sure he is. Now, you watch this. Imzak, add five, two, four. Plus eight, seven, six. Plus nine, nine, oh. Plus three, five, eight. Go. See? That's the right answer, too. But Hector, you... You didn't punch any keys or anything. How does the machine know what numbers to add? I tell him. What? <laughs> Are you sure? See, see, this, this, this is his, well, well I, I call it his ear. I talk in here, and he takes the numbers by the sound of my voice. It's pretty slick, huh? <laughs> Darling, it's terrific. If it really works, as you say. Oh, well, that's nothing. Now, Imzak can do all kinds of things. Watch, I'll show you something else. Oh, Hip there's Doris calling for me, dear. I'll have to run. You can show me tomorrow. <laughs> bye, sweetie. Goodbye. Have a good time. <laughs> I'll be home by 10. All right. Uh, 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 well, let's see now. Well, uh, we've got nothing to do tonight, Imzak. Mr. Chambers was watching me so close, I couldn't bring any work home from the bank today. If you weren't so heavy, I'd take you into the bank and we could show them. Hmm, you said it. Well, let's see. What can we add to you tonight? Hey, how about a pair of arms? Yeah, that's it. Then you'll be able to do a lot more things. Well, I, I, I'll build you a set of real powerful arms. I'll make them out of this scrap iron or something, and, and so strong you can crush a tree, crack a solid block of cement, twist an anvil in two. Hey, that's swell. Then you can crack the walnuts when Helen makes cookies. <laughs> hey, now, Amzac, Amzac, uh, 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 don't, don't get so excited. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. Give me a chance. You know, Amzac, you may come in handy around the house. Gosh, and with your brains, it'd be like having Einstein for a maid. Well, another day, another dollar. Good morning, Hector. I'm glad you're on time. Take off your hat and get right to work. We're in trouble. No, I'm always on time. Hmm? I know, I know. I just passed the remark. Except for that one time when I wore those sunglasses I made and got lost. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Now, forget it. Say, Mr. Chambers, I rented a trailer and hauled Imzak in to give you a demonstration today. Uh, shall I go get him? Imzak? Oh, that machine of yours. No, no, not now, Hector. We're in trouble. I haven't any time for foolishness. Uh, trouble? What happened? We got robbed? Now, if you'd let me put in that burglar alarm I made, the one with the water pistol that squirts red ink... Please, we Hector! <laughs> when I say trouble, I don't mean trouble. I mean... Well, well, it's just that the board has discovered a serious error in one of the branch's books, so all the rest of us have to bring our accounts up to date by noon today so the auditors can check them. Oh, is that all? Is that all? Well, we're short-handed as it is, and... <sighs> Just look at that mountain of figures to be tabulated and checked. Well, shucks, if you'd just let me bring Imzak in here, he'd zip through them in no time. Please. Let's forget that crazy machine of yours for now. I've got to... Hello? Hey, that's my phone. I'm the president of this bank. Do you mind terribly? Oh, no, go ahead. Help yourself. Thank you. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Jenks. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. We're hard at it right now. But... Well, I just don't see how we can get through by... What? But that's impossible. But, sir, I... But... But... Uh, but, 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 but... Well, I'm short-handed and... Yes, sir. 10.30 it is. 
Oh. Uh, more trouble? We've got to be ready for the examiners by 10.30. Oh, we'll never make it, never. Uh, but, Mr. Chambers, I tell you, Imzak could do it by 9.30. Oh, not that machine again. Okay, but I still think it's worth a try. 10.30. Oh. Hector, you say your machine is here? Yeah, it's over in the parking lot. I rented a trailer. Well, a drowning man will grasp for the razor. Take a couple of the boys and bring it in. I guess it's worth a try at that. Your work's been so accurate that if it's been doing it as you say, then maybe it can at least help out. Uh, every second counts. Oh, well, gee, thanks, Mr. Chambers. You won't be sorry. You'll see. I hope so. Well... What are you ready, Hector? Uh, we're all set and raring to go. It's certainly a weird-looking contraption. Oh, it'll do the job, though. I'll give him the figures, and you can have one of the girls sit over here and take the answers off the typewriter. Typewriter? Oh, sure. Imzak, Imzak can't talk, so he replies by this electric typewriter. Oh, he doesn't talk. That's too bad. Save a lot of time. <laughs> well, I'm working on that. I believe you, too. But I don't see any tabulator keys. Where do we run up the figures? Well, we don't need keys. I'll dictate the figures to Imzak. You'll dictate... You what? <laughs> well, sure. You see, I talk in here, and he takes the numbers down, and That I can... does it. Talking to a machine. Forget the whole thing and get busy with that pencil. Uh, uh, no, wait. Now, wait, Mr. Chambers. Uh, give it a chance. Now, watch. Oh, very well. Okay, Imzak, old boy. This is your big chance. No mistakes now. You ready? Oh, here we go, then. 597 346 248 Well, there we are, Mr. Chambers All finished with 45 minutes to spare If I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't have believed it I've been checking some of the results as we went along And they're all correct, too Imzak never makes a mistake Hector, at long last, I believe you finally concocted something really useful <laughs> That was nothing Oh, but it is Why, this machine almost seems to think for itself Oh, sure, I know that Imzak can think about a lot of things well, now, I didn't mean for you to take me so literally. I work so fast, it does seem to think on its own. But no one will ever invent a machine capable of independent thought. I have. Yes. Yes, I can understand that you've been so close to it, you could come to believe it. Okay. You'll see. Now, Hector, my boy, I'm not trying to belittle your accomplishment. You've done a magnificent job. In fact, I'm going to make a full report of this to the board. We just might find a permanent place for your machine right here in the bank. Oh, gee, that'd be swell. Imzak would like that, too, I'll bet. Uh, fine. And he'll work cheap, too. Money is no object to Imzak. Yeah, but just don't ever try to slip any DC current on him, though. Boy, does that make him mad. Chambers, after this remarkable demonstration, I'm nearly as convinced as you are in the possibilities. It's amazing, simply amazing. I knew you'd think so, sir. And the young man who's been running it, you say he's the inventor? Yes, sir. This is my dear friend and trusted employee, Hector Casey, the inventor. Congratulations, Casey. You've done a splendid job with it. Oh, thank you, sir. But I'm just a little disappointed in it myself. Disappointed? Whatever do you mean? Well, I can't... I can't tune in Milton Berle on it. You can't... <laughs> Uh, what was that? Oh, Hector's just having a little joke, sir. <laughs> oh, I tell you, sir, this machine has limitless possibilities with us. Why, we'll be able to operate with half our present staff. Chambers, you do have a head on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought of that. The machine is twice as efficient and 20 times as fast. Exactly. Suppose I pair my staff down by about eight girls, and we'll try it out. Good. And uh, what about Casey here? Well, I'll almost have to keep him on, since he's the only one that knows how to run the machine. Oh, no, no, no. I was uh, thinking of perhaps a small raise for his efforts. Oh, yes, yes. Well, maybe later on, sir. After all, he had a raise just 18 months ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, uh... Don't want to spoil the boy, you know. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, well, very well, Chambers. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> By George, what a year this is going to be. Yes, sir. Why, with our reduced operating budget, we'll be able to double our investments. To coin a phrase, sir, <laughs> we'll clean up. You may be right, Chambers. I certainly hope so. At any rate, it's worth a good try. Eh? Yes, sir, it is indeed. Uh, do you want any uh, anything else from Imzak today, sir? No, no, that'll be all for today, Hector. But uh, be here bright and early tomorrow morning. For we're about to launch your friend Imzak on a brilliant career. Uh, Chambers, perhaps you'd better notify the personnel who are involved in the change. Oh, yes, yes, sir. I'll do it right now. 
Ah, well, Imzak, you did it. They're really sold. And Mr. Jenks is usually a tough cookie to convince. Oh, don't worry. You were sensational. Gosh, what more could you ask for? Here you got a steady job at the bank, holidays so off. So long, Hector. Uh, oh, so long, Mildred. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm afraid not. The boss just canned eight of us girls. But you got fired? But, but why? You're the best bookkeeper we ever had. But your machine there is better. So he let us go. So long. Yeah, but, but Mildred, wait. I... Oh, gosh, this is terrible. Oh, and then Mr. Chambers. Mr. Chambers. Yes, what is it, Hector, my boy? Is it true that you just let some of the girls go? Well... Yes, I hated to do it, of course, but, well, with your machine able to do the work so much faster and efficiently... Hey, but, 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 gee, if, if, if I'd known anything like this would have happened, I, I, I'd never would have brought them in. I think I'll take them home and dismantle them. Oh, no, 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 don't do that, Hector. Uh, now, listen, my boy, let's be realistic about this. I know how you feel, but, well, progress is not without its price. After all, this is a rough old world, you know. It's dog-eat-dog dog and all that. Yeah, but I... No, 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 you go on home. We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's early, but go on. Take the extra ten minutes and enjoy yourself somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's more like it. And thank you for your contribution, Hector. Thanks to Imzak, you'll soon be working for the greatest banking organization in the country. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's swell, Mr. Chambers. Well, good night. Good night, good night, Hector. See you bright and early tomorrow. Oh, what an invention. What an opportunity. Hello, Chambers. How's our machine this beautiful day? Oh, busy as a little beaver, Mr. Jenks. Well, sir, I never would have thought it possible. Today marks six months since we put the machine into active operation. Just think, in six months' time, it has taken over the entire book work for all 23 branch banks. <laughs> it's astounding. And profitable. We've been able to reduce our personnel by 80%. Yes, we're operating so far on the black, we need never worry about that again. Uh, Mr. Jenks? I have another little surprise. Ah? Uh -huh. Yes, I have made quite a discovery on my own. Well, what is it? Just this. I've learned that by giving the machine all available information on the markets, it can predict with uncanny accuracy the ups and downs of those markets. I've already made uh, quite a nice little piece of change experimenting. You've what? Using my own money, of course. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, I tell you, sir, it's foolproof. Are you absolutely certain? Positive. I just thought you might like to get in on it. Well, if it's all that you say it is, and uh, there's no risk... None at all. And wait, there's more. I've had Hector wire the machine to our special teletypes, so we'll not only be able to, uh, do business with the domestic markets, we'll be in touch with the financial heartbeat of the world. I tell you, there's no limit. London, Paris, Singapore. But can the machine handle all this in addition to its other duties? Oh, oh don't worry. It hasn't nearly reached its capacity yet. Go on over and watch it for a while. I'll join you in a moment. By Jove, I'll do just that. Gad, what a scheme. Uh, Mr. Chambers, I'm all caught up again. Is, it, is there anything else you'd like me to do? Mm, I've noticed that you've been rather at loose ends for some time now, Hector. Yeah, Imzak's got the hang of it now, and he can pretty well handle things by himself. Which leaves you with virtually nothing to do. Mm. Be a shame to have to let you go, too, but where to place you? Gosh, Mr. Chambers, you, you, just, you just can't fire me. I, I mean, I've got certain responsibilities at home now. Oh? You mean there's another mouth to feed? There's 12. There's a... The Tuesday Bridge Club meets at my house now. Oh. Well, <clears throat> let's see. There's obviously no place for you on this floor. Uh, maybe you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the vault downstairs. Well, I was sure anything at all, but I, I, I'd kind of like to be near Imzak. Oh, now, don't you worry about Imzak. He and I are doing just fine. I'll see that he's well taken care of here. Well, okay, but there's just one thing, Mr. Chambers. Yes? Well, I, I don't know what it is, but there's something going on with him, Zach, that he doesn't like. I think he's worried. Now, now, Hector, a machine can't worry. Imzak can, and he's doing it. Just don't try to put anything over on him, Mr. Chambers. He's no dummy, you know. Uh, all right, Hector, I'll watch it. Oh, there's just one more thing before you go downstairs. The vault guard position doesn't pay as much as you've been making, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have to take a cut? I'm afraid so. Got to abide by the rules, you know. Of course, if you'd rather go elsewhere... Oh, no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Jobs are hard to get. Good, good, I knew you'd listen to reason. Now go on downstairs, get into your Sam Brown belt. Yeah, okay, okay. But, but don't forget what I told you about Imzak. I won't, Hector. I won't. <laughs> Hey, 
Imzak, are you awake? It's me, Hector. Remember? I don't blame you for not recognizing me in this uniform. Look at it. Guy says room in this belt for two people. That Sam Brown must be a big guy. <laughs> Look, I just had to sneak back and talk to you, Imzak. I, I, I've been worried. Mr. Chambers won't let me come near you anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, now, what kind of funny business is going on here anyway? Hey, what are, what are all these figures here? This doesn't look like bank work. Looks more like market reports of some kind. No, I don't know. Gosh, Imzak, I, I'm sorry I ever got you into this. I, I'm afraid they're working you too hard. Oh, you've got a plan. Well, oh, good boy. I should have known you wouldn't let him pull the wool over your tubes. <laughs> Well, look, you just hop to it, and I'll stay out of the way and watch the fun. Okay, but I better go now, Imzak. I'll, I'll see you later, and good luck. <laughs> Same to you. Yes, sir. Chambers, you greedy idiot, what have you done? Done? I've done nothing. Nothing? Have you seen the morning papers? Well, 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 no, I just got in. Look at these headlines. Market crash threatens. What have you been up to? But I can't imagine what... Went... Don't you realize you've damaged the financial structure of the entire nation? Well, and in critical times like these, why, I ought to take... No, 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 wait just a minute. If you've been in here fooling with the machine and it's backfired on you, you're not going to blame me. I haven't touched that machine since yesterday. Well, neither have I. Let's have a look. Well, look, it's running on its own. Great Scott, it's buying and selling like a madman. Oh, and look at the foreign market. Why, wars have been started for less than this. Well, don't just stand there. Stop the blast. Look thing. how there's no switches or anything. I wouldn't know where to begin. I... Peters, Crawford, everybody come here. We've got to stop this thing. Get that Casey fellow up here. Oh, yes, yes, Hector. He'll know. He'll know how. Hector? Hector! What's, what's the matter, Mr. Chambers? You're, you're all red in the face. Oh, Hector. Hector, it's a machine. It's gone crazy. You've got to stop it. We'll be ruined. Oh. Don't just stand there, man. Come on. You've got to stop it. I don't think I will, Mr. Chambers. <gasps> what? Nope. This is Imzak's way of getting even with you for whatever you've been doing with him. Hector, either you shut that thing off or you're uh, fired. Uh, you can't fire me now. Us guards have got a union. You're going to... Hector, I... Oh, what's the use? <laughs> Will he do it? No, no, he refuses to touch it. Can't any of the rest of you men figure it out? Oh, no, but something has got to be done. The FBI just called. They trace things to here and are threatening to throw us all into Alcatraz. Oh. And here's a wire from Scotland Yard. Chambers, you got me into this... But I haven't done anything. It's this confounded machine. It must be doing it. What kind of nonsense is that? Surely you don't believe that a machine can... It's not nonsense, Mr. Jenks. I told you a long time ago that Imzak could think for himself. Casey, you've got to stop this thing before it plunges the nation into bankruptcy. Into... Uh, 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 war. I promised Imzak I wouldn't interfere. All right. All right, then I'll do it myself. I, I, I wouldn't get too close, Mr. Jenks. Those steel arms of Imzak can be pretty rough. Oh. Okay. Hector. Hector, listen. Maybe I have been at fault. I'll make it all up to you if you'll just... Sorry. But, Hector, you don't realize the seriousness of all this. Casey, this calls for you. It's the White House. Uh, I don't know anybody in the White House. Well, he's heard about you. Believe me. Yeah, but I'm a Republican. Answer it! <laughs> all right. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, sir. It, it's my invention. Yeah, I, I make all kinds of things. What? Oh, no, no, I've never fooled around with pianos much. <laughs> why, why, yes, hey, that would be nice. I can play the top part of Chopsticks, and you can play... What? Uh-huh. Oh, it's that bad, huh? Well, if, if you really think I should... Well, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'll think it over. Yes, sir. Thanks for calling. Well? I I'm still not so sure I should. But, Hector, surely you wouldn't turn down the... Yeah, yeah, he did seem kind of anxious. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mr. Chambers. If you give me my old job back... Yes, yes, anything. And hire back all our old girls again... It's done, it's done. Just stop that machine if you can. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Oh, at last. But, Casey, how will you do it? I've called Caltech, MIT, even Einstein. They don't know what to do. Oh, it's simple. I'll just go over to the wall socket... And pull out the plug. Uh -oh.
this is Deborah Padgett again. <laughs> this is Deborah Padgett again. <laughs> Do you have a favorite time to pray? One friend of mine, a woman, thinks that the best time to pray is in the morning, particularly a morning bright with sunshine when the skies are blue and the birds are singing. Prayers in the morning, she says, are prayers of hope. Now another friend, a man, says that he prays best by the little reminders of the day, the sounding of a church bell, the sight of a poor beggar on the street, or, or the shock of a narrow escape at a busy intersection, seeing the inspiration on the face of a nun, watching a policeman helping an old lady across the street, or the feeling of hunger appeased after a good meal. He says prayers like this are mostly prayers of thankfulness. And still another friend, a woman, insists that the best time to pray is when the dark comes and gently enfolds this garish, gaudy world of ours. Prayers at night are inclined to be prayers of love, both of God and neighbor. Well, what I am doing is proving that it, it doesn't matter much when you pray, as long as you do pray. But pray especially as a family, for there's great joy in praying with others. Who of us still hasn't heard that the family that prays together stays together? More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you Donald O'Connor in The Thinking Machine. Deborah Padgett was your hostess. Others in our cast were Ken Christie, Cliff Clark, Joy Terry, and Patty Chapman. The script was written by William Lutz, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program by the Mutual Network, which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who have given so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home, and inviting you to join us next week at this same time when family theater will present Tyrone Power, Billy Burke, and Betty Lynn in Curtain Call for Genesius. Join us, won't you? <laughs> Family theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.